Hallelujah. Hi, welcome in. 68. Let me tell you, Jesus said to the followers, go everywhere in the world. Tell the good news to everyone. Mark 16 verse 15. Animals might not have the same vocabulary as we do, but they definitely have ways of getting their messages across. Sometimes they use their voices to bark, meow, hiss, or chirp. Other times they use their bodies to say what they need to say. For example, when a scout bee spots a bunch of flowers filled with nectar, it flies back to the hive and does a little dance to, t to tell all the other bees where to find them. The white-tailed deer warns other deer of possible danger by flicking up its tail, which is, you guessed it, white. Elephants say, I like you, by linking their trunks together, while gorillas tell you they're angry by sticking out their tongues. God made sure animals can say what they need to say, and he made sure you can too. And the most important things God wants you to say are about him, to tell people how much he loves them and how they can get to heaven one day. To do this, God gave you a mouth to speak and a mind to put the words together, and he'll also help you know what to say. He did it for Moses when he faced down the wicked Pharaoh, Exodus 4, verse 12, and he promises to do it for you too, Luke 12, verse 12. Doesn't that just make you want to do a little dance? Lord, I want to tell the whole world about you. Please give me the words that will help others see how great you really are. How great! Prairie dogs have quite a large vocabulary of yips and barks. In fact, they have a different word for every kind of predator they meet, including us. What's more, they use different words to describe how we look, what we're wearing, and how fast we move. So if you're ever stared at by a bunch of prairie dogs, then yeah, they really are talking about you.